Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how can we apply a NeoBase classifier to the given data set to classify the new example into one of the classes. This is the solved example number line. The link for other examples is given in the description below. In this case, we have been given a data set with uh, eight examples and uh, four attributes, namely color, legs, height, smelly, and species is the target uh, variable in this case. Given this particular data, we have to classify the new example in this case. That is, uh, color is equal to green, legs is equal to two, height is equal to tall, and smell is equal to no into one of the classes as either M or H in this case. Now, to do this particular thing, the very first thing uh, what we need to do is uh, we need to calculate the prior probabilities. The prior probability of this particular target variable, you can say. That is, uh, probability of M and probability of H we need to calculate. In this case, uh, we have total eight examples. Out of that, four examples are of type M and four of type H over here. So the probability of M is equal to four by eight, and the probability of H is equal to again four by eight, which is equal to 0.5 and 0.5 in this case. Once you calculate the prior probabilities, next we need to calculate the conditional probabilities for each and every attribute here. The first attribute in this case is color here. That is, uh, probability of color is equal to white. Given M and H, we need to calculate probability of uh, color is equal to green. Given M and H, we need to calculate. Now the question is how to get this particular value. That is uh, uh, 2 by 4 here. That is uh, first we need to count how many number of uh, M examples are there. If you count the number of M examples in this case, we have four. So that is the reason denominator is equal to 4 here. And in this case also denominator is equal to 4 here. And how many number of H examples are there? Four. So that's the reason the denominator is again four and four over here. To get this particular numerator, the probability of color is equal to white given M. So within this particular given M, how many number of times white is coming? We need to check. So if you look at here, this is the one white example, and there is one more white example over here. So there are two white examples are there out of this particular four. So we can say that two by four here. And coming back to this one, color is equal to green given M. Within this particular M, we have uh, two green examples, so that's the reason it is two by four over here. So now coming back to the next one, that is uh, H here. Uh, out of four examples, so we need to see how many number of times uh, white is present. So white is present three times here. That is the reason we have written three by four. Similarly, green is coming one time. That is the reason we have written one by four over here. Similarly, we will calculate the probability of uh, legs is equal to two given M. So, how many number of times within M examples? How many number of times legs is equal to two is present? That is one time. So, that's the reason it is one by four. How many number of time uh, legs is equal to three is present? That is one, two, three. So, that's the reason it is three by four here. How many number of times uh, uh, two is present in uh, uh, H examples? Is two is present four times? So, that's the reason it is four by four here. And we don't have any three here. We have zero by four in this particular case. Coming back to the third attribute, that is height. When it comes to height, uh, in this particular four M examples, how many number of times you can say that short is present? Because there are two possibilities, short and tall. So short is present one, two, and three times here. So that's the reason we have written three by four. And tall is present only one time. That's the reason we have written one by four here. Similarly, in H examples, how many number of times short is present? Two times here. And it all is present two times, so two by four and two by four. Similarly, we need to calculate the values or the conditional probability for smelly also. Once you calculate these uh, prior probabilities and the conditional probabilities, now we will try to classify this particular new example into one of the classes, either M or H in this case. Now, to classify this particular new instance into one of the classes, we have to solve two equations. That is, probability of M given new instance that can be written something like this. Probability of M that is nothing but the prior probability, and then probability of color is equal to green given to us. So that's the reason we write probability of color is equal to green given M. We write here. Legs is equal to two is given, so that we will write probability of legs is equal to two given M. We write probability of height is equal to tall is given, so we will write probability of height is equal to tall given M. Last one is probability of uh, smell is equal to no given M because smell is equal to no given to us. Now we know all these particular values uh, like uh, probability of M is 0.5, probability of color is equal to green given M is uh, color is equal to green given M is uh, 2 by 4, uh, legs is equal to 2 given M is uh, uh, 1 by 4 here, 
height is equal to tall given m is equal to 1 by 4 smell is equal to no given m is equal to you can say that 1 by 4 here now we will uh, solve this particular equation we will get 0 0.0039 in this case similarly we will try to solve one more equation that is probability of h given new instance so we will write probability of h first that's a prior probability we know that value probability of color is equal to green given h now probability of legs is equal to 2 given h similarly probability of height is equal to tall given h probability of smell is equal to no given h in this case now we will put all these particular values we will get uh, 0 0.0468 in this case and once you compare these two values that is probability of m given new instance and the probability of h given new instance probability of uh, h given uh, new instance is uh, more than the probability of uh, m given new instance in this case hence the new example is classified as the species h in this particular case so in this video i have discussed how can we apply new base classifier to the given data set and classify the new example into one of the classes over here i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching